Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my February favorites. I do not have a whole lot as of now because I am filming this video super duper early. Um, but if I do have anything new, I will list it down below. So make sure you check out the description bar for my social media links to follow me on, as well as, like I said, any other favorites that I have for this month. So let us get into a couple of the favorites. So the first one I want to mention is this sassy lady right here. And it is my color oops extra strength hair color remover now I'm going light with my hair as of this moment I might be at it by the time you guys are seeing this but who's never whatever um, I've purchased like I don't know how many boxes of that but it has taken out so much color like it's insane um, it doesn't really show up much on camera but I will have a video up of my whole hair process which should be up in a couple of weeks and you will see pictures from how I went from super dark to whatever my end result ended up being because I don't even know what it is yet. So another favorite of mine has actually been this Rusk Texture Dry Finishing Spray with a medium hold. Now this seems really random because I haven't done many updos but um, this is the thing. I actually hate texturizing sprays because I feel like it just leaves junk in your hair just so that your hair will stay there or look a certain way. But this one is not like that. It does have medium hold, but it's, I don't know how to really explain it, but it's just been really fabulous and I'm not a fan of sprays like this, period. I just, I'm usually not. But the other day I did do a top knot. And I have shorter hair, so I had my extensions in, but this stuff just slicked back whatever little itty bitty baby hairs that I had, or whatever was broken and broken off and sticking up. Um, it just flattened it right out, and it gave me a nice sleek hairstyle. Another reason why I really like this is because it was very easy to brush out, so I didn't have to immediately wash my hair the next day or keep it up for a couple more days. So another favorite of mine for this month has been my Fit Miss Z Slim PM. I do have a review of this up, so I will have that link down below so you guys can go check this out to learn more about what this is. But it's a perfect sleep aid and fat metabolizer. I talk about it further in the video, so it will be linked down below. I just, I really do love this stuff. It's been amazing and I like being able to sleep straight through the night without waking up every five minutes. Another absolute favorite of mine has been these NYX Intense Butter Glosses. I do have them in two other colors. This one right here is Black Cherry Tart and I did use this in my Valentine's Day makeup look, um, which was really interesting. But I mean, I got pretty decent feedback on it, so thanks. But um, yeah, this is just a really pretty color. They feel fantastic. If you love the original butter glosses, this stuff you will just die for because the color is more intense. It's not just a light wash of something. It's just straight on pigment and it's beautiful. I do have two other colors, but I do want to get more. My next couple of favorites are from the same brand and they're the same type of product. They are brow products. Um, lately, my brows have been even and fabulous and natural looking and I've just been dying. So the first one I'm going to mention is my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I do have a little mini itty bitty review that I did put up last week and so I will have that listed down below as well. Um, another product that I want to talk about is the NYX Eyebrow Gel. I also have a review on this. So all these videos will be listed down below so you guys can get my thoughts on them as well as the brow mascara. Well, this color right here the, in the gel is too dark for me now. It's still just, it's fantastic because when I just feel like having dark, evil brows, I can just throw these on and just slay. Another two products I would like to mention are actually for your eyes still, but it's eyeliner and it is the Sephora Rio Nights Waterproof Gel Liner. This stuff has been amazing. It's been so easy to apply and I've just been really enjoying it. And to go along with that, I purchased the NYX B22 uh, slanted angled brush thing. But yeah, I use this for the eyeliner and it's just, it's amazing. They have it labeled as a brow brush, but I think it's too thin for brows. Um, two more lippies I want to mention and then that's it for lips. But it is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Twisted and it's on my lips right now. It's literally like not showing up the actual color on my lips right now. It's just electric lilac lavender pinky undertoned with a little bit of blue type of color. It's just, it's gorgeous and I'm obsessed. 
And the other one I want to mention is Kat Von D's Studded Lipstick in Underage Red. This is the little mini one that I actually purchased in a, th a three-piece set with her eyeliner, which I've been dying for, and the mascara, which I'm a little bit on the fence about because the brush is just way too weird for me. Um, but this is such a pretty red. It's matte and it... Ugh. It lasts forever. I had this thing on my lips for, I want to say eight or nine hours. Looked just the same as when I put it on. The only thing that faded was lip liner, but that was from e.l.f. So what are you going to do? Um, I want to mention this again, which is my duo brush on adhesive. It is the only reason why I am slaying lashes right now. And I just, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And especially, big shout out to Ardell Lashes for having the most simple lashes to ever apply ever. Um, I've just really been loving lashes and I'm loving lashes. I just don't have anything else to say about that. So another product that I've been loving is the Clinique Makeup Brush Cleanser. Now nobody likes to clean their makeup brushes and if you like to clean your makeup brushes you're crazy. Um, but when I just do like in-betweens, like whenever I'm doing really simple looks like throughout the week and I'm not experimenting to where my brushes need a good clean, I'll just spray this on a napkin and then brush my brushes. And it does a really good job at cleaning it right away. The brushes dry fast um, and they don't feel damaged afterwards. So I really do like this. Last two favorites are from e.l.f. It is the e.l.f. blush palette. I cannot stop raving about this palette enough. It is just... It's just a perfect square of perfection. There we go. And then the other one is my e.l.f. pressed powder. I've been enjoying setting my under eyes with this and even the rest of my face. It can tend to get a little too cakey though with um, my MAC foundation. But when I use it with the e.l.f. foundation, it they literally complement each other so well and it's just phenoms. But that's pretty much it for my February favorites. I don't have too many other things that I can even try out to try to love this month. But like I said, this is a pre-recorded video, so if I do find anything that has been my favorites that I may have forgot, especially music, I'm definitely gonna put music down below because there's just uh, some stuff I've been obsessed with. Some of it is old, some of it is new, and it's from people that you've never heard of before, and it's just, it's, it's literally been getting me through the rough patch that I had when I had my relapse. So I'm just like, I'm all for it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Follow me on all of my social media, which will be linked down below. And yeah, so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.